We're going on a field trip. We're going on a field trip. To Butler can a rock wireless. Where do you think we're going? Where do you think we're going? Welcome to me. Wow, boom. <laughs> Looking at Rockwallers, man. Today, you see, I got my babies with me today. Oh my god, what would you do if this were you? You guys are probably just love and hug on them and kiss them anyway. But welcome, you guys, to the Butler Family Show, man. Today, uh, I got a special. I always say I got something special for you guys, and always something special. But today, now you guys have seen. Well, first, let me back up. I'm getting so excited. I want to tell you guys this. First thing first is thank you guys for over 70,000 subscribers. Just in January, just in December, we were at 50 something subscribers, 57 thousand. One's already left, um, and then now we're at over 73 thousand subscribers. But thank you guys for all your support, love, and everything. Um, today, 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 if it's your first time joining us, hit that like button, subscribe button, and tell me what you guys before you watch and see what's happening. Tell me what you think is going to happen. But you guys know I don't like to hold it to you guys too long. So I'm going to tell you guys anyway what's happening right now. So today, you guys have already seen um, the big dogs eating the cows and all that kind of stuff. And you guys have seen my children putting their hands on the cows. So he came back. Um, oh, um, get in there. So you, one's gone again. So you've seen the children playing with the cows, playing with the dogs and stuff while they're eating. They're showing our dolls great temperament. I hope we're breaking barriers for you guys to see. Let them all just go. Um, one goat, the other one's gonna try to go. <laughs> hope we're breaking barriers for you guys to see that the stigma of what Rottweilers are mean and aggressive and everything else. I hope we're breaking that. But um, today, what you won't miss is these guys jumping out right now um, and enjoying the feet. So without further ado, we're gonna show you guys what our little puppies are gonna do first time on a cow as you can see over here eating a cow so the ones that are left are going to get the first tour all the way here and we're going to visit and see come around this way here and then uh we're going to see the magic school bus is going to back up to it and this is their first reaction this is we're all going to see their first reaction for the first time ever um to a full cow um that we just uh, hat out for them here. So we're gonna get them a little booster. Boom. See how they respond to it. If they dive right in. You guys think they're gonna dive right in or you think they're gonna just... I don't know yet, you know? So, seem like they don't really know too much yet. But, I wanna do this. I'm gonna get everybody on there right quick. Leave the magic school bus up the way. I don't know something's over there is more prevalent for them, but I'm gonna bring everybody else over here. Okay. Um, and then I'm gonna bring everybody over here. So it seems to me like they're they're like, hey, I don't know what this is yet. So I'm gonna help and assist them for the first time. Oh. Give little filet mignons. See, they're going at it. They understand the assignment. I don't know yet. I don't know how I really feel about it. I should let them got hung get hungry first, but it's their first time. What I'm gonna do is. Leave it over here. Oh, they all got to come over here a little slowly. <laughs> One, two, three. Okay, so everybody's over here now. Um, let everybody get a little bit of, see a little tugging. And it just takes a little time for them to start getting used to it right now. Um, letting them all get used to it and really being like, familiarizing themselves with it. This is their first time really outside, really. Uh, letting them, so you see them just kind of 
You keep it on them right quick. Come on, Try to come over here and bring everybody else. You know, this is the first time I've really seen the puppies go after it. Now, you guys are the big dogs going to come in here. And, you know, they're like, someone is always going to ask the question of something else. Like, oh, you let the kids do the dogs, but he won't let the kids touch it with the big males. And this, obviously, people who don't watch our page, you know, our dogs, big dogs, male dogs are all the same temperament with our kids. And if you guys are having, if you guys have kids and you're thinking about if you want to get involved with a Rottweiler, you're not sure. And you want to break that just watch all our previous videos um watch all of our previous videos as well too and then um that way you kind of get an idea about what it is that we actually are doing as well so let it on me so i mean put on them as well too so i guess you can see them too um but just kind of just kind of putting it on there so you guys can kind of see the what the dogs are about what they're doing um you know, kind of get you guys familiarized with the videos. Now, we also have told you guys before, um, one of our other videos, the recent videos I did with the, um, the, uh, the, let me see. I think the other video we did with the feeding of the dogs reached over a million views. So imagine if a million people who watched that video would actually hit the subscribe button. We'd had over a million subscribers today, but we don't. So we're going to work our way to it, you guys. But thankfully, I'm very thankful for the 73,000 we do have um as well so we get it like that show you guys showing you guys like this now they're getting into it you guys y'all see it look at that is really going in on it. Hey buddy, why are you on the opposite side? You got the good, oh, you're getting that back scrap. So what I'm gonna do is, so if, like this is the dog's very, very first time uh, doing the cow. So what I'm doing now, you see the little slices I've done? That's to get them easier to get the pulling and, and familiarize them with natural. Now, someone has asked the question, like I said, we're breaking the, the mindset of people with the What's that wrong thing where everybody used the wrong? We've been told that I'm a lie, so whatever. Blood does not make your dog angry. That's like saying someone, I like applesauce. Does applesauce make you soft? I mean, you know what I'm saying? Food does not bring out an aggression in what, in what you are. Every single animal, every animal uh, eats raw food. There's no raw or carnivore, there's no carnivore that's naturally eating, um, that's naturally eating food. We as humans have made food more accessible and easier. You wanna come in? Can, can you see? Can you close with it? I wanna make sure the volume can hear me. You know, I'm barking and stuff, so. Um, wanna make sure that all dogs eat raw. So this idea of, oh, you shouldn't eat the dogs raw and all that kind of stuff. Man-made dog food to make it easier and quicker is not healthier for the dogs. Now there are some really great dog food out there, but the dog food isn't, it's like you can only reach the best so far, like, but so far as, but so good, I guess, whatever. If you notice when people, dogs eat uh, just solid dog food, look at your dog's canines, the teeth. You're gonna see a lot of brown marks around them, all that sugar, all that dye, all this other stuff, corn, that lays on the dog's teeth. Now look at someone who raw feeds their dog 100%, 
and you won't see that at all. It's always a healthier gums, healthier teeth, and all that kind of good stuff as well. So um, with our dogs, we get them used to eating on both a little mixture, because sometimes people are gonna go home with their food and keep them on it, and some are gonna take them off of it, and just simply Susie that goes, nope, uh, Cheryl. Cheryl's gonna take her dog, <laughs> And she's gotta go to work and she's a lawyer or whatever and she's gotta be at work all day so she's gonna drop some dog food out and it's like, no Cheryl, that's that's not how you wanna do it. But if you just feed your dog strictly dry dog food and that's what you like, go ahead and do it. I'm not telling you no. I'm just showing you guys what I do at Butler Kennel Rockwaters and feeding them that. <laughs> Getting everybody excited. <laughs> so, see like this here? What I would do is, what I'm doing is just getting them used to it. So if somebody wasn't getting used to the to the meat, I just cut up in like little bits to get them going. So let's say you have, see that? It was too big. Now watch, he's gonna start going at it. See that? It like entices him to wanna eat and get the food going. They wanna use the bathroom and moving along healthier stool. And also too with the stool, raw feeding helps your dog's stool smell way better than dry food. If you have a dog on straight, the complete raw diet. Now, just giving your dog some beef and grinding it up and pitting it to your dog, that's not a raw diet. Do not do that, you guys. Just feeding your dog a piece of chicken and thinking that's a raw diet, that is not a raw diet. That is not a raw diet. It's not healthy for your dogs. The dog's getting dry, dry, all those ingredients and dry, and then you're just feeding a piece of meat or you're grinding up one little piece of meat and that's it. Dogs gotta, and your raw food has to have a lot of different ingredients to make it complete. That's like someone giving you saying, hey, I'm just gonna give you dairy. Dairy, dairy, dairy. All you eat is drink milk and everything else, all kind of yogurt and that's it. You gotta have some kind of substance in different categories from different categories on the pyramid to eat. So same thing with the dogs and your raw food. No, I'm not gonna tell you guys what's in my raw dog food. No, I'm not gonna tell you guys what it is. Um, but as far as this cow goes, this is an entire animal. So when animals hunt in the wild, they use the entire animal. They don't just eat just the legs or the one part of it. They eat the entire animal. So today, our dogs are getting used to it and they're they're getting used to it, but we have other ingredients in there that's gonna make up for the stuff that they don't eat off of this as well. So, But we do have um, subscription if you guys want to have a, um, not subscription. Um, Consultations. Huh? Consultations? Consultation, there you go. We offer consultations for you guys. If you wanna consult, uh, call me. It's $100 for up to 30 minutes phone call. And sometimes it goes over, or every time it has went over. But wanna give you the right idea, the right information. Don't do it the wrong way, you guys. Um, get you guys involved in seeing, man. This is what I want to see right here, honestly. So to me, this is a complete success. Uh, some of the stomach area they're starting to eat. And I know you're gonna look at this stuff and be like, this is disgusting. Why would they eat that? That's nasty. I'm gonna give, and Cheryl's gonna have a little dog and she's gonna see this video and Cheryl's gonna comment. Mr. Cheryl and Mrs. Cheryl, they're gonna look at this video and who don't like it is, I'll never give my dog Rufus that kind of stuff. My dog Rufus eats a grilled steak and, hey, my kid's yelling at daddy. Um, Cheryl is gonna just wanna feed her dog a piece of steak or whatever she does and that's fine, Cheryl. Um, some people have the, I'm not telling nobody what they should or should not do. I'm just telling you guys, you guys are on my page for a reason because you like the videos and you like the dogs and what they look like. In 17 years, we've been around the Kid of Rockwallers. I am very proud to announce that we have shirts coming on the way. We don't have hoodies on the way because we have another special design, but we do have shirts on the way for you guys. Um, and they are for purchase this year. Um, I think we decided to change it 2023. We're gonna make shirts purchased because just because you didn't buy a dog from us isn't a way to just stop you from being able to support us and being a part of the family. So we're gonna open the shirts up and if you do want a shirt, just give us a call. Um, your size and that kind of good stuff and then um, but see like those little growling noises like that normally I'll be right in there and see normal growling behavior is fine but we start our dog at a very very young age and we put them together like this here so they get used to it they get used to it but if they start getting a little growling is natural they, they tell hey back up man I don't want this here or whatever but that fighting and stuff we don't let that happen at all period that's why you see our big dogs 
that got over a million views are able to eat together in the kennels and be together with kids and touch them even when they're young like this we start like see right here i know he's in the middle of enjoying that food and i'll come there and it's rubbing. now let him go back to eating the same food but you're just rubbing him let him know that i'm not stopping him from eating it that i'm actually encouraging him to eat it you see he goes back to eating it while my hand is touching on him so he's getting used to that stuff like this little one here mr ray collar is trying to go to town on this thing so hey bubba and he's gonna go back to eating it as well like he is right there all right so that's pretty much it as far as the puppies man i hope you guys enjoy the puppies actually and eating the cow so i'm going to bring out one of the mother dogs later to eat with them and you know slowly bring in the bigger dogs i should I do that now but no, their first meal, I want them to enjoy it, just them. They don't need the big dogs, they got this here. Um, we got a lot more work to do so they can enjoy it. And then everybody's looking all around like, hey, when do we get a chance, when do we get a turn? Um, they'll be able to get a turn as well too. And it's always gonna be a wonder. Just wanna try it. Like, like no, I'm good. <laughs> I can't tell you guys enough how much this really means to me, you guys, along this journey. Um, you guys, watch our live, because we're gonna go live after this in a little bit right now as well. So watch our Friday Night Lights live. We are Friday Night Live, yeah. We're, I'm gonna try to be more live, I'm gonna try to be consistently live on Fridays and Saturdays or whatever, um, more. So tonight we're gonna go, we're gonna go live tonight. Today is Saturday. Yeah, today's Saturday, but we're going to go live. So by the time you see this, it's already done. But the Saturday coming up, make sure you guys, Friday, Friday and Saturday, one of those days, we're going to go live. We're going to be consistent with the cameras and everything else. So um, make sure you hit the subscribe button, the like button, notification bell. If you like this video, are you telling me like, hey, man, leave your comments below. Like, Tony, be quiet. I want to see more of the dogs just without talking. Or, hey, we like your informational videos, do that. Either way, I really don't care. I'm gonna do what I wanna do anyway in the videos, but your suggestions are really good. I'm just messing, it's really good. So, uh, let me know what you guys think about the video, about the puppies, and um, which one is your favorite? And then we are out. We'll do one little last deal, all of them, and then we are done.